Hi everyone and welcome back. So I'm going to be doing a review on the Sofa Does Nails Makeup Revolution Eyeshadow and Highlighter Palettes. These have been out for a couple of weeks now, probably if not a month. But I've been wanting to wait to do my review because I've been using these quite a lot and I just wanted to give a real in-depth review. I didn't want to do first impressions just because Soph um, is one of my favourite YouTubers and I didn't want to, if I said I didn't like I want first impressions, I didn't want to, you know what I mean, I didn't want to like taint it or anything. I wanted to really try her products out before I reviewed them. That being said, I did film a real in-depth like swatch video when they first came out, which I'll link below. Um, that's where I've done them with just finger swatches, um, and then I did a flat shader brush and also a shadow brush, like a blending brush, which I'll link below just so you can see the different pigmentation. I will also have full swatches in this video as well. So she's been working with Makeup Revolution for a while, and I kind of knew this was coming because I know they've done like influencer collaborations before. I knew that she was going to in some way shape or form come out with a highlighter palette because that is what she is known for. So I might as well start with that. One thing I did want to say, how beautiful the packaging of these is. Um, I was watching her video and she designed these from scratch. She did all the watermarking herself. You can tell, like I've definitely seen other like influencer brands where they've just stuck their name on and sold the product. You can really tell she's put everything into this. It really does come across as her product because obviously she loves highlighters and she's really gone all out. She's got highlighters for very fair skin, highlights much deeper skin. You could see if this wasn't hers, you could see it being something that she would buy and put in one of her holes. And I just think it's so, so beautiful with this kind of peachy, creamy packaging. It just looks so, so nice. I love that there is no wasted space on this. She really has put in as much product as possible and these are all beautifully pigmented. My favourite is definitely this one here. I've used that the most. Not a single one of these is a dud. These ones I can't really wear as a highlighter because they're too deep for me but they are beautiful eyeshadows. I just cannot recommend this palette enough and it's £8. It's such a good deal and like I said, I've been watching so for since she was either at 30 or 40,000 subscribers. So for a long, long time now, I think possibly a year, maybe two years. She's so deserving of this. I think she's grown so fast, so quickly in terms of her subscriber count, but she's remained very genuine. Whereas a lot of other YouTubers that I've watched where they've grown subscriber wise really quickly and they kind of sold out. She's just remained so down to earth and humble and I'm just, I knew I had to buy this even if she came out with a product that I wouldn't like. I knew I had to buy it and support her because I've been watching her from the start and she's just like so sweet and humble and just deserves like all of the success she's had. And then the eyeshadow palette. This is one that really does kind of show her personality and her character. So again, it's got a really beautiful packaging on the box. She's named all of the colours and this is where you can, if you've been watching her videos for a while, you can really tell the names are her. Like, for example, one of them is called Rosewood and she loves Pretty Little Lies, as do I. So she's not just like slapped a name on a product, she's really thought about all of them. And then the product itself. Mine is so grubby because um, when it first came out, literally the day I got it, I paid for next day delivery. I was filming the swatches in my garden and it started raining. So I had an umbrella trying to hold a camera and a palette and swap. And they just kind of got a bit rained on. So they're very grubby. Only negative thing I have about the packaging is this is so hard to open. I just can, I always struggle to open it, but that is literally it. In terms of that, again, she's done no wasted space. It's got a really decent sized mirror. I will try and show without blinding you. And these are all the colours. I like that she's, instead of putting in a brush, which no one's gonna use, she's just made more room for the shadows. And she really has covered all bases. You've got the really neutral wearable shadows, but then you've got the really bright, intense, dramatic shadows. So my favourites are definitely Pancake, Fairy Lights, and then this one on the end, which is Cup of Tea, Grow Old, uh, Peaches, um, Cloudberry, and then also this one I wasn't expecting to like, uh, which is Petrol. It's got a really beautiful, almost like purpley green iridescent undertone. It's beautiful. The shimmers in these are perfect. They're so pigmented and so vibrant and they apply really, really well. There's not a massive amount of fallout with them. The mattes are very hit and miss. Some of them they really, really do need a lot of work to build up, but she even mentioned that in her video. That is what I liked the most was she wasn't trying to fob anyone off and be like, buy my product, the pigmentation is amazing. Like most of the like influencer brands tend to do these days. She was like very honest, like it's a budget palette. The shadows aren't gonna be that great. And I don't know, I just have a lot of respect for her for actually being very upfront. I don't tend to buy mattes myself anyway, just because I tend to gravitate more towards satins and shimmers, but I do really enjoy the mattes in this palette. They just need a lot more work, um, but that's kind of not just this palette. Mattes on the high street tend to not be as good 
from what I've heard anyway, like I said, I don't tend to buy many matte shadows, but she just has covered all bases and even just the layer of the palette itself all of the colors work really well with the surrounding colors um so like for example if you were to look at them in fours you could get a really pretty look out of these ones then these four you could get a really pretty look and so on it's just, obviously i've kind of gone for the more wearable colors on a day-to-day -day basis but some of the more vibrant ones are beautiful she said she was trying to create like a year-round palette and i think she really has done that and in terms of the makeup revolution palettes that i own this definitely has the best variety. I think that there is definitely something in here for everyone and it is such a good value for money. For £10, I cannot recommend this enough. Even if you don't watch those videos, you don't know who she is, if you're just looking for a good eyeshadow palette, this is your best one if you haven't tried any Makeup Revolution. I just, I can't say bad things about it other than obviously the formula, but I've already addressed it. In terms of budget, that was out of her control. You can tell she's put time into this. She hasn't just put her name on a product. and. I really hope she comes out more products because this is amazing. I think they're possibly going to do, is it the other two or three influencers that they kind of team with at Makeup Revolution? I presume they are possibly going to have more products out first before so, but if she does have anything else out, I'm definitely going to pick it up because like I said, I've been watching her for, I want to say a year or two, since more or less the start of her channel. And she's the sort of person that even if she's talking about something that I don't really have an interest in, I will watch it because it's her. She just presents everything so, so well and I just really enjoy her channel. I know she's younger than me, I think she's 20, 21, but I don't know, I just relate to her channel more than all of these like really like on trend YouTubers now where they're just like flashing their wheel off and spending in hundreds of pounds on that designer makeup she just comes across as a lot more relatable and i don't know i just love her channel so if she is watching this which i doubt well done this is amazing so that was my very quick review on both her palettes like i said um i will link down below all of the in-depth swatch videos i've done if you want to watch them in more detail but i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you next time